something. Well, you, you know what I learned about this alkaline diet thing is that, yes, it's good to be alkaline, but you don't want to be too alkaline. You need acids in your body. Like this lady said, how, how are you supposed to give birth? How are you supposed to have in, in conception or conception? You need acids to have all this stuff. She's like, what about amino acids? You need yeah. these to function. She, so she's like, you know, but too much acid is bad. Just like too much pH is bad, though, right? My whole point, you know. But I'll tell you, alkaline water is delicious, though. <laughs> it's delicious. I you like, know what? A lot of people um always talk about alkaline water, right? Like, oh, drink alkaline, alkaline, and it's the same thing. It's like the latest trend, right? You don't know nothing about alkaline water, but even when it comes to women, like she said, that can throw off our pH if you drink too much of it. Now, yeah. how much of it do we drink do it throws off? Nobody really can give mm. you that number. But for you to just jump on that bandwagon, especially being a female, and now all of a sudden I'm not, only what I drink is alkaline, but then your pH is thrown off. Right. That's, that's something else that people don't talk about. That's why I say it is so what important you for us. You would have to drink a lot of water, like a lot of water to throw off your pH. Because remember, that, that water is still passing through you. It's not in you. Yeah. Right, so you would have to ingest a lot of water for a long time for it to really draw off.